Beneath a giant sequoia tree in northeast Portland's Sabin neighborhood, there sits a house. It's unoccupied right now and in need of some TLC. But back in the 90s, it was Theo Smith's pride and joy. At the time, it was my first house, and uh, it was one I could afford. Got into that neighborhood. Smith lived in the home until about 2008 when he moved out, but he kept the house as a rental. The last few years, though, the house has sat empty, damaged by the root system of the towering sequoia next door. Since 2017, the, the tree has grown even more, and it's now literally growing into the side of our house. I mean, literally growing into the house. The city realizes that and has decided the tree should come down, much to the dismay of Claire Bollinger. We were so shocked when we heard this news. The sequoia sits on her and her partner's property. They love it, and they're not alone. Thousands of people have signed a change.org petition to save the tree. Others have donated thousands of dollars to keep the tree from coming down. It would be a tragic day for this neighborhood. And it's the thing about it is that there are other solutions. Among them, moving the Smith's damaged house. They'll tell you they've already considered picking up the structure and moving it 10 feet. Oh, you have to start at the curbs. You have to redo those. You're going to be redoing the sidewalks. You're going to be moving the garage. It came to a cost of about $250,000 to do that. The Smiths say that's just not feasible. Not much is, aside from cutting down the sequoia. And no, the Smiths aren't tree haters. Quite the opposite, in fact. Theo grew up on a farm. <laughs> he loves trees. I grew up um, in, in an apple orchard full of trees. But the Smiths also love their house, and they're not willing to demolish it in order to save the sequoia, like so many others seem willing to do. It just seems like, yeah, they love the tree, but we love our property and we want to we want to save our property. All right. The Smiths say this whole thing has cost them a ton of money. Aside from the fines from their house being deemed a dangerous structure, they say they can't rent it out because of the condition it's in. So they're out that rental income on top of everything. This as neighbors keep filing appeals to save the tree. We'll be sure to stay on top of this and bring you any updates. For now, I'm Mike Bennett for KGW News.